The parallax effect. It's one of the oldest and coolest tricks in the design playbook. It works by making different layers of content or backgrounds move at different speeds when the web page is scrolled, creating the optical illusion of three-dimensional depth. It's used extensively on Apple product pages like the new iPhone landing page, and can be used in subtle ways like the Firewatch game, where it feels like you're descending behind a mountain before reaching the main content. Or one of the most mind-blowing examples is the boat, which contains six chapters of non-stop parallax. Looks awesome, so so how do I implement it on my website? Over the next few minutes, you will build this homepage of a cat parachuting from the moon down to the ground, using an awesome library called React Spring. Along the way, you'll learn how to quickly transform a boring layout into something amazing. At the end of the video, we will also look at some more advanced possibilities and drawbacks of the parallax technique. If you're new here, like and subscribe, and upgrade to Fireship Pro to get more tutorials like this. Let's first make sure we understand how the parallax effect works. We have a background image, two images, images actually, of the moon and a landscape, but we also have text and images in the foreground that scroll at different speeds. On top of that, you'll notice that the text animates in with a springy animation. The cat starts at the bottom and then very slowly scrolls up to the top. This simulates how perspective can change the relative speed of objects as the viewpoint moves, making the website feel much more alive. To get started, create a React app with your favorite tool. I'm using Beat. From there, install the React Spring Parallax package. If you're not familiar, React Spring is an awesome tool that can easily add life to your components with spring animations, which itself is a technique that relies on physics instead of durations and curves for defining animations. The library provides two components, the first of which is parallax. You can think of a parallax scene as multiple pages. That gives us a context to start animating. To animate the children, we use the parallax layer component. By default, you can think of each layer as a page that will take up the entire screen. To see it in action, let's go ahead and add two different layers. You can add whatever UI you want inside of them. Using the default settings, you'll notice that they're stacked on top of each other. In this example, we have four pages, and by default, each layer will start on the first page. We can change that by updating the offset to 1 on our second layer. That will tell it to start at the top of the second page. Okay, but now it doesn't really do anything interesting. We just have two headings like a normal website. We can start making things look cool by changing the speed of one of the layers. This will tell it to scroll at a different speed than everything else. The difference is subtle, but you'll notice the second layer of text moves at a different speed. And as you move, it will also use a spring animation, making it appear more lifelike. But to really take advantage of parallax, you'll want to have background images. The parallax layer component can also take a style, inside of which we might define a background image. Now, generally speaking, your background images will move slower than everything else, and you may want to have them span multiple pages. The factor prop allows us to do that. By default, every layer will have a factor of 1, which means that its size is equal to one page. You can make it span multiple pages or a fraction of a page by updating the factor value. I'm going to go ahead and add another background image and then tweak some of our values here to give us a scene that looks like this. As we scroll down the page, we get different layers of text animating into it. And by the way, I obtain these images from pexels.com, which in my opinion is the best place to get free stock photography. Now the final piece in the scene is the skydiving cat. To make that possible, I'm using an animated GIF. Now another cool thing about this library is that we can also make a parallax layer sticky, which will keep it in the same place as the user scrolls. To configure it, we just use the sticky prop and then tell it when to start being sticky and then when to end. In this case, it will start at the beginning of the second page and end halfway down the third page. That's pretty cool, but one other thing we might want to do is jump around two pages more quickly. We can grab the parallax element with the use ref hook. That will give us access to a scroll to method. We can put it to use with an event handler when one of the headings is clicked that will scroll to a specific page automatically. And now the end user can navigate the entire scene without having to touch the scroll wheel. With just a few lines of code, we've created a very unique animated web page. React Spring Parallax is awesome, but it may feel somewhat limited. Another library that you may want to check out for more advanced use cases is React Scroll Parallax, which provides more control over the elements being animated. Now, if you're not using React, a vanilla JavaScript library that's been popular for many years is Scroll Magic. But one thing that needs to be mentioned is that parallax effects in general tend to be overused and abused. Even though it looks cool, it isn't glamorous or cool or kid stuff. It's the most addictive kind of cocaine and it can kill you. It can hurt the usability of the site. Personally, I get kind of annoyed by Apple landing pages. They're visually stunning, but the usability suffers as a result. When implementing the parallax effect, I'd recommend keeping it fairly subtle, with the Firewatch landing page being a good example of this. You can find the source code for this project on GitHub, and if you like 5-minute tutorials like this, let me know what you want to see next in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.